Hi guys, welcome back. It's Thursday, so I'm back with another video. If you're new here, my name is Melissa Crafter and I create custom epoxy free tumblers along with other crafts. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this beer can glass cup to which I added this fun multicolor full wrap decal to. So that is something that you're interested in, please continue watching. As always, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for watching. Before we begin, I want to show you guys the vinyl that I used for this cup. I did use all vinyl from TechWrap. These vinyl sheet packs bring 21 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl. This sheet pack is called the 001 G Sheets Pack. The G stands for glossy and all 21 sheet color in this pack are glossy. These sheet packs are great if you are wanting to do multicolor decals. I also recommend these sheets pack to beginner crafters who are starting to make vinyl decals. These are definitely a great option. Here is another one of their sheet packs that's available on their website. This one is the 001M, which the M stands for matte. All 21 vinyl sheets on here are matte. I do have a discount code with TechWrap. I'll link their website along with my promo code down in the video description, but you can use promo code MelissaCrafter10 for 10% off of your order. Their website is filled with lots of crafting goodies, so definitely check them out. In this video, I also use one of TechWrap's holographic glossy rainbow adhesive vinyls, so I wanted to show you guys what they look like. These are absolutely beautiful and they have that rainbow holographic effect. You can find these also on their website. As I mentioned, I'll link it down below in the video description. I really like TechWrap vinyl. If you have been looking for quality vinyl, this is definitely it. I like how their vinyl has a clear protective sheet on top of it that protects the vinyl from getting scratched up until the moment where you're going to use it. If you do remove this clear protective sheet before you cut your vinyl, you'll see me doing that a little bit more up ahead in the video. So here we are on Cricut Design Space on a blank canvas and I'm going to show you where I bought the SVG, the cut file. I did purchase it off Etsy and this here is the one I purchased. It is from this shop here, it's called Earth Tone Studio Shop and I did purchase it for $2.89. Once I purchased it, I downloaded it to my computer and I'm going to upload it on Cricut Design Space. I like this shop in specific because they sell you the SVG ready to cut on Cricut Design Space. You don't have to re resize it. And this um, design here is good for the 16 ounce beer can glass. It is a multi-color decal, so it is going to cut on three different cuts. Sizing that I used for this decal was 9.569 by 4.142. I am then going to click make it and send it off to my Cricut. As you can see, it separates it into three different mats since it's three different colors. So here are the three vinyl colors that I'm going to be using, one being the holographic and the other two being just glossy vinyls from TechWrap. So I'm going to load my tack wrap standard tack cutting mat with each color individually. I'm loading each color according to my mat on Cricut Design Space. You want to make sure your mat aligns with the numbers on your mat that's on your Cricut Design Space. That way your design will cut within your vinyl. As I mentioned earlier, all tack wrap vinyl comes with a clear protective sheet. So here I'm removing it before cutting out my design. So here's my Cricut Explore Air 2 cutting out my vinyl design. I do have the cut setting on vinyl. Now that my Cricut has cut out the first part of my design, I'm going to load my mat with the second color. And here's my cutting machine cutting out that second part of my decal. And last, I'm going to load my mat with my holographic vinyl and then I'm going to have my Cricut cut out that part as well. 
For this holographic vinyl, I do have the cut dial on custom and I'm using the cut setting holographic vinyl with the pressure on the blade on more. So here I have all parts of my decal cut out and I'm going to weed them out. To weed them out, I'm going to use my Tech Wrap weeding pen. This one here is the Pink Scales weeding pen. It has a sharp stainless steel tip that allows precise weeding down to the smallest detail. This pen here is a must have for weeding vinyl. You can find this weeding pen in the Tech Wrap website that I'm linking down below in the video description. They also have other accessories like this squeegee here and these tweezers that are great when using vinyl. So here I'm using my weeding pen to take off these little small cuts that are on each one of the clovers. This weeding pen really came in handy when trying to take these off since they were super tiny. I did speed up the video up here because this did take a while. And here I'm using my Tech Wrap tweezers to weed out the rest of this vinyl. So here are all three parts of my design ready to be put together as a full wrap decal. Here are the cups that I'm going to be using. These are called 16 ounce beer can glass cups. They are also called Libby glass cups. I purchased these off Amazon. I'll link them down below in the video description. Tech Wrap also sells these. I'll link those as well. I am going to go in with an alcohol prep pad and just wipe these um, on the surface really quick to remove any fingerprints that might be on there. So that way when I go to add my decal, um, it adheres well to my cup. I'm going to set it to the side to allow it to dry for a few seconds while I put together my decal. To put together my decal, I'm going to be using my go-to parchment paper method. I'm starting off with the light green part of my decal. I'm going to put my tech wrap transfer tape on this light green part. Using my squeegee to ensure that my decal adheres well to the transfer tape. Here I'm removing the backing. Using my parchment paper, I'll place it on top of my darker green part of my decal. Then I'll place the light green piece on top. The vinyl will not stick to the parchment paper. The parchment paper helps with placement. You can move around the vinyl pieces until you find the correct placement. I like to use this method so that I know exactly where I'm placing each vinyl layer before committing to a certain spot. You can see directly through the parchment paper. I do leave a little piece on the left hand side exposed without parchment paper underneath. Once I find that correct placement, I adhere that exposed piece down so that it won't move around. Then remove the parchment paper and adhere that bottom piece using my squeegee. I am then going to repeat these same steps and adhere that holographic part onto my decal. So here I have my full vinyl decal ready to add it to my cup. I am going to lay down my parchment paper first just to make sure that my full wrap decal is going to align like it should. I'm mostly looking to make sure that my full wrap vinyl decal aligns well where both ends meet. I'm leaving a little piece on the left hand side exposed as well 
and I'm going to adhere, adhere that piece to my cup and then I'm going to just make sure that it's going to wrap around well and I'm not going to have any overlapping. Now that I saw that it's good, I'm going to remove my parchment paper and begin to adhere my vinyl decal onto my cup. I'm pressing down on my decal using my squeegee to make sure that it's well adhered onto my cup before I go and remove my transfer tape. So here I'm going to be removing my transfer tape. And here is my cup with my full wrap vinyl decal added on. And this is how my cup turned out. This design was so fun to make. I like that it was multicolor. It really made this design pop. So that's it for this video, you guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask that in the comment section. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do upload a new video every Thursday, so be sure that you are subscribed. And thank you guys so much for watching.